Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video tutorial, we are starting a new learning series that is for getting start with Python in Microsoft Excel. So for all of you who are using Python as in a Jupyter Notebook, uh, now you know that Python in Excel is also available with Excel 365 beta version. So it will be an exciting course. Uh, the series of the videos will be uploaded on my channel Excel Basement. So do subscribe. Let's start in this first video how we get start and do the next level data analysis. Either you belong to any organization or any department, everyone has its their data sets good and easy way to do analysis in Microsoft Excel. So now let's get started. First, I will tell you that how to get the Python group in the formulas tab. It's very easy if you are using Excel 365. So make sure you check your account. So you can click on file tab, which is on top left side of this application. Then go down and you can see account here. So click on account. Now you can see that I have purchased this uh, Office 365 subscription product on my live.com ID. Uh, this is written here, Microsoft 365. And I am using uh, Microsoft 365 Insider beta channel. Okay. There are a couple of updates are also there and I need to um, install them as well. So this is the first thing. So when you update it, uh, you have to go to formulas tab where you will find the Python group. And there are a couple of options available here. Okay, so we will be doing some demonstration uh, here in the Excel. Uh, but before that, let me uh, go to the detail. If you want to purchase Excel 365 uh, to get all these awesome things, so if you go to my channel, uh, that is Excel Basement, you will find a video. Uh, which is approximately for five minutes step by step learn how to purchase Microsoft Office 365 subscription So in this video I have guided in very much detail that how you can purchase and pay to the Microsoft and Get the 365 version activated on your system. All right. So this is the Microsoft official uh, page where they uh, written the article about get started with Python in Excel and it's written that Python in Excel is currently in preview and it's subjects to change based on feedback. To use this feature, join the Microsoft 365 Insider program and choose the beta channel Insider level. Okay. And once you have this particular uh, version, you can go to formula step as I have guided you earlier. So you will find this Python group uh, there. So to use the Python, you have to write equals to py in order to enable and write the code related to the Python. Uh, they have written the article in August 2023 announcing Python in Excel next level data analysis for all. So either you are an accountant, either you are an auditor, either you belongs to sales department, HR or, or any other important uh, department of your organization, um, you can do the next level analysis within Excel. So all you need is to activate this your version and you can start writing the Python code by equals to py in your excel cell following by the python code so you can see the demonstration is being showed here all right then you can also create advanced visualizations so to give you the leverage robust python visualization library such as matplotlib and cbon uh, directly right in your excel workbook uh, for comprehensive data representation you don't have to install Python separately anywhere uh, that comes built in. You can load the libraries as well. You can also accomplish uh, deep statical analysis as well, as you can see here in the demonstration as well. And you can share your work with the other colleague as well. Once you create uh, some good analytics, you can share this document. Click on the right side, then uh, write the message and click on share and add an email address and that's it you can access powerful python libraries as well such as pandas cborn skypy matplotlib and they will be loaded and 
once done you can start doing the analytics cited news about the day how and why data scientists should be excited using the python in microsoft excel you know that uh, globally is uh, there are more than 700 million users and up to 2 billion people who are using spreadsheets day in and day out so there is a good deal organization spreadsheets handle financial reporting supply chain analytics and even crm want to learn more about pandas uh, which is used for data analytics uh, and it's a library so you can go to this website where you can find a pandas documentation uh, you can click on to get started and uh, scroll down you will find a lot of topics here something like um, calculate summary statistics handle time series data manipulate textual data so let me click anyone here how do i read and write about tabular data you can click on to introduction tutorial and it will open a sample tutorial for you so you can read and see how the code works and the similar kind of code you can uh, write inside the excel so equals to py press the tab key then let's select the data so we have a data from j6 and it goes downward till p374 press Control enter and the data frame has been created here as you can see okay and once you go to the formula bar before the formula bar there is a python object small icon click on it if you want to see the uh, actual data you can click on excel value or uh, let's keep it on python object okay so it's a data frame now we have and let's do some analytics so e equals to again py now this time we will select this data frame and write the code that is dot describe bracket open bracket close these are the round brackets now to execute we will not press enter 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 because it will insert a new line uh, within this uh, cell so to execute we will press control enter and now we want to see it as a value so we will go to this formula bar and say excel value and that's it we got our based on our data set the numeric columns quantity and revenue as you can see here uh, we got their count mean standard deviation minimum numbers and we can also do some changes here let's say we want uh, based on a certain column so let's add in a square brackets let's say by payment type so see it's showing us some statistics regarding the payment type we can change this as well to let's say city press control enter that's it right uh, then we can run another command equals to py press the tab key now this time we will use a group by command so let's first pick the data frame dot group by city and dot sum round bracket open and close and press control enter now we want to see as a data value so we'll click on it excel value and that's it we got it the numbers city wise let's select these numbers make uh, a good formatting all right so if you want to change it you can change this let's say you want by payment type so instead of city you can write payment type and press control enter and that's it right so this is how we have started writing some python codes uh, in microsoft excel uh, in the next tutorial i will be bringing some more good analytics how to do on large data sets or multiple tables